Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to go over the 7 disturbing traits of an INDJ dark side. Make sure to watch each one of them and find out if you have any of them. Did you know that, in addition to MBTI type, you have other key personality functions? These functions are crucial to understanding how you function in society, and they're useful to know as a tool to help you learn more about yourself and others. Today we're going to look at the shadow functions and how they create the dark side of an INTJ personality type. This dark side represents the unconscious parts of our psyche that you have less awareness of and control over. It hosts repressed, unwanted, and overlooked elements of your personality. If you are an INTJ architect mastermind personality type, chances are that you have already experienced some dark side traits at least once in your lifetime. You should undoubtedly be aware of your dark side since it will help in the integration of your unconscious and conscious selves, allowing you to better design your life and achieve personal growth. Here are 7 disturbing traits of an INTJ dark side. Number 1. Ruthlessness INTJs are deep thinkers, however, intrinsically they are not cruel or unkind. They simply have their own way of thinking. Unfortunately, the evil side of the INTJ might turn that on its head. In this situation, the architect may become more interested in exacting revenge or injuring those who have wronged them. The INTJ death glare could be a signal of things to come at this point. Their harshness, which is backed up by reasoning, can be a truly frightening proposition. They can be ruthlessly rational, but only for their own enjoyment and at the expense of everyone who stands in their way. Architects often disregard their moral compass and show little consideration for others' well-being or sentiments. INTJs remain to themselves and are uninterested in forming bonds with others. Their purpose is to get pleasure or advance in life, even if it means harming themselves or others. INTJs are frequently cold and calculating, easily enraged by anyone who tries to gain a footing in their lives. This is a very disturbing trait of an INTJ dark side. Number 2. Unfair Judgments People who are emotionally outspoken and exuberant tend to irritate unhealthy INTJs. Architects typically have trouble trusting them and question whether they have hidden agendas. Instead of approaching them with an open mind, they may enjoy bringing them down a peg or being condescending to them. This trait comes from their dark side. Extroverted feeling is a trickster for INTJs, and the trickster is a function that impacts our relationships with others. As a result of this, architects are more likely to distrust persons who display strong emotions or promote group beliefs. Healthy INTJs recognize that diversity can be beneficial, and they approach extroverted feeling types with an open mind. Unhealthy INTJs, on the other hand, may transfer trickster feeling onto feeling types, putting them down, demeaning them, or simply refusing to communicate with them cordially. Number 3. Distrust Another trait coming from INTJ's dark side is their tendency to be suspicious and skeptical. They have a lot of trust issues, which may be traced back to their over-analytical nature. Another reason they don't have many failed relationships is because of this. It's super hard to convince an INTJ that they're wrong. They will fight to the death for their beliefs. This is due to their belief that they can never be wrong or their repugnance of being wrong. What is the reason for this? The INTJ is a person who spends a lot of time researching and looking for solutions to various difficulties, and they will sometimes defend what they believe is correct even if it is incorrect. Although INTJs are open to learning, they frequently assume they already know everything and they have a tendency to distrust anyone whose opinion is different from their own. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. Isolation It's safe to say that no other personality type is more introverted than the INTJ. They try to stay away from any external stimulation as often as possible. Even mundane tasks like going to the supermarket are unnecessary and tiring. To get over that, they'll need some time to recover. Architects who have an introverted demeanor prefer their alone time. They do, however, value the company of others on rare occasions. 
They are complicated people who like to impose limits on themselves and others. Oftentimes, even unknowingly, INTJs have a tendency to live so much in their heads that they forget about the real world. This dark side of the INTJ can make them lonely and isolated at times. They are, however, hesitant to form friendships or relationships just for the sake of it. Another reason they like to stay in their heads is that they have complete control over their surroundings. In their brains, everything makes the perfect sense, which is the total opposite from the events happening in the outside world. Number 5. Emotionless This is where INTJ stereotypes might manifest themselves in real life. Even if healthy architects aren't constantly aware of how others are feeling, they generally consider important interpersonal concerns. Unhealthy INTJs, on the other hand, are genuinely unconcerned with how others feel. They are so focused on their own objectives and ideals that they don't want to consider the emotional needs of others. INTJs can become imbalanced in their growth if they don't get enough feeling development. Introverted intuition that architects have is preoccupied with uncovering hidden meanings and making predictions. Extroverted thinking, an auxiliary function of the INTJ, is concerned with arranging and structuring the universe in order to maximize efficiency and effectiveness. If INTJs refuse to give the feeling side of their personalities any significance, they will develop the mistaken assumption that other people's feelings are unimportant in the grand scheme of things. Number 6. Unhealthy Perfectionism Architects are known for their devotion for dismantling, critiquing, and improving things. However, failing to adequately recognize benefits can be detrimental. INTJs may fail to validate individuals they care about as well as to be too harsh on themselves. Negativity bias has a role, and because it is often unconscious, it can be considered a dark side trait. More than that, it might be difficult for the architect personalities to experience genuine gratitude for things happening in their lives. INTJs are terrified of mediocrity. Anything else than perfectionism seems like a disaster, so they won't approve of it. A disdain of averageness and a judgmental internal voice that undervalues effort in favor of idealistic results may exist in their dark side. In the real world, however, unhealthy perfectionism is frequently the adversary of progress. Unconscious perfectionism may be a powerful motivator, however, consciously valuing achievement in any form, even incremental breakthroughs or tiny changes, is a major motivational factor as well. Perfectionism and realism function best when they're combined, each balancing the other out and not by putting the first one on a pedestal. Number 7. Cluelessness to people around them, INTJs can appear cold and unfeeling, making it difficult for them to form long-term relationships. So much so that relationships and even friendships struggle and frequently fail as a result of architects' inability to entirely let down their guard. Because INTJs may be extremely critical of others, even if they aren't aware of how harsh they can be, dating them can feel more like putting yourself on display for them to pick apart than genuinely getting to know one another. INTJs are one of those people who do better in love when they aren't trying. The more they attempt to make a relationship work, the more judgmental their behavior becomes. As a result, this personality type often has a hard time maintaining long-term romantic relationships. That's why they sometimes prefer casual interactions since it relieves them of some sort of pressure. This is a very disturbing trait of an INDJ dark side. These videos will be really helpful for you.